Hey, will you look at this? A lot of people have been waiting for it. The sixth generation Toyota 4Runner. We're here in Southern, Southern, Southern California, right across those mountains is Mexico. And this is exciting. We're gonna tell you what we do know and a couple of things we don't know. We don't have the official pricing yet and we don't have the fuel economy. All of that will be announced closer to the on sale date, which is this fall. So when Toyota first announced officially that a new 4Runner was coming, our viewers had three questions questions for us. Is it made in Japan? Does it have a third row option? And does the rear window roll down? Yes to all three. This is a first look of the 2025 Toyota 4Runner. Well, you might have guessed that this was designed alongside the brother, the Toyota Tacoma pickup truck, and you can see some similarities. You might remember the very first 4Runner was also built off a Toyota pickup truck. They just put a cap on the back of it. Well, this is actually a nod to the first and second generation Toyota 4Runners, and you can see one distinct thing, and that's the wraparound quarter glass between the C and D pillar. Well, Andrea's already mentioned that it comes standard with a power window that rolls down at the back, also an available power liftgate. Here's one thing I like. Check that out. This is the limited grade retractable step. Just like the Tacoma, this bold and rugged design is based on the TNGAF platform, which is shared with Tacoma, Sequoia, Tundra, and the new Land Cruiser. The platform utilizes a high strength box steel ladder frame and features a multi-link coil rear and double wishbone front suspension. Now let's talk a little bit about the powertrains that are in the 4Runner, same as the new Tacoma. So there's a gas model and a more powerful iForce Max hybrid. Let's start with the gas model. It's a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder with an eight speed automatic transmission, 278 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. Now there is one thing that the 4Runner doesn't get that Tacoma has, and that's the six-speed manual transmission. Now the iForce Max powertrain is the same 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder with the eight-speed automatic transmission, but a hybrid powertrain. It gets a combined 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. This hybrid can tow 6,000 pounds. So Andrea already went through the powertrain options. The blue one is the limited and that is a gas model. So we're gonna differentiate what gets gas, what gets the iForce Max Hybrid and one trim that is available in either powertrain option. So base model is SR5, then there's TRD Off-Road, TRD Pro and the blue, the limited, all come standard with a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. So what gets the iForce Max Hybrid system? Well, this is Trail Hunter. That's a new line for 4Runner. Also, Platinum is a new trim for 4Runner. There's one trim that you can get either the base gas model or this iForce Max, and that's the TRD Off-Road. 4Runner will be offered with part-time four-wheel drive and full-time four-wheel drive. There is an electronically controlled two-speed transfer case with high-low range, active traction control, and also an automatic limited slip differential. Now there are some models that get an electronic locking rear differential. Those models are TRD Pro, TRD Off-Road, and Trail Hunter. The multi-terrain select system now functions in both four-wheel drive high and four-wheel drive low. A new quieter crawl control function has been added downhill assist control, there's an available stabilizer bar disconnect mechanism, and when traction is extremely limited, the available electronically activated locking rear differential can help split power 50-50 to the rear wheels. The 4Runner has up to a 32 degree approach angle and 24 degree departure angle. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, there are some new trims to 4Runner. So that's limited, that's the blue one. Unfortunately, we don't have it here as a new platinum trim with slots above limited. More luxury in a 4Runner. You get black exterior styling elements, heated second row seats, a standard tow tech package, and a head up display. And this is the new Trail Hunter. Now, if you followed along with Tacoma, Trail Hunter is for the adventurer, the outdoors person that wants to have more of a customizable truck. You can get this and build it up to the way you want it. 
This is really an overlanding rig with the largest integrated off-road equipment from ARB, Old Man Emu, and Rigid Industries. Trail Hunter is ready for customization. Build it the way you want it. Well, we're in the limited model, and this one has got the tan seats. I think it looks great. Boy, does this ever remind me of Tacoma. From the way the center console is laid out to the traditional shifter, look at this, lots of knobs and buttons. But we do know, although the specs haven't been released yet by Toyota, is that this 4Runner comes with a standard 7-inch digital driver display and an 8-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, you can move up to the available 12.3-inch digital driver display and 14-inch touchscreen. So we're going to kind of go through this limited model because the specs haven't been released to kind of tell you what you get in this. So we've got the 14-inch touchscreen, digital driver display, and I've already gone through it. It's got a power driver's seat with a height adjustment, a power passenger seat with a height adjustment, heated and ventilated front seats. You've got a moonroof in this model, and there's two settings for driver's seat memory. Of course, you can see in here, there's also the JBL sound system. This, to me, feels like it's soft text upholstery. It doesn't feel like it's leather trimmed. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go with soft text. Look how good it has gotten, this leatherette interior. Now, there's a good combination in here of different textures, but there's definitely some hard plastic up here. This is actually a really nice trim piece, a different design element. This is soft touch material. This the rubber on the grab handles. Underneath here is a little bit of plastic. And then you've got soft touch, of course, on top where the storage is. It's a good storage unit. And I would say that the door pockets are very wide. You can put a large bottle in there as well as the cup holders. So it does remind me a lot of Tacoma and it's got that real truck-like feel to the interior. Retractable running boards, that's kind of fun. And you know what, it's, you got a bit of a pitch at the back, but you can move the seats up and recline them. So that's handy. Uh, the seats don't go fore and aft. Uh, what's interesting is that in 4Runner, as we mentioned off the very beginning, yes, you can get a third row. It is available. They don't have one here. These are very, very early pre-production prototypes they brought here from Japan. Uh, you do have an armrest, though, in the center, and that's where your cup holders are. USB connection in the center for all the passengers in the back. And there is a hump in the middle, of course, a body on frame truck. That's to be expected. JBL speakers in the back and more cup holders in the door. But... Um, you know, you kind of sit upright. Headroom's not bad. I would say it's okay. It's not that back here at all. Available power tailgate. Cargo space looks pretty good in here. I'm not sure about how tight it would be with a third row, uh, but you know, it would be a small one, put it that way. It's pretty easy to load and unload for a body on frame SUV. I think the loading floor is quite good. This also has a full size spare tire under the vehicle. And there's a couple more things I wanna add. There are dual USB-C charging ports in the front and all four runners come with push button start and there is an available digital key on select trims for runner come standard with toyota safety sense 3.0 and proactive driving assist is now included in that so do you like what you see i mean i think this four runner looks pretty cool here's something interesting out of all of toyota's body on frame suvs female buyers take this forerunner. This is the one that they want. So I understand that because I am a huge fan of forerunner and I think that Toyota's done a pretty good job with the looks. It looks really cool. Yeah, it does look like a forerunner as soon as yeah. you see it, but you can also see that in Tacoma as well. They've done a nice job of integrating some retro touches, a modern looking truck, and of course all the latest powertrains. Some people are going to say, oh, there's the V6 is gone. We've heard yeah. that a lot. 
but I think once you get out and drive them, and we're hoping to get that in the next few months, I think people will maybe like it. So fuel economy, pricing, more details on trims will be announced closer to the Forerunner on sale date, which is in the fall. So that's a first look of the 2025 Forerunner. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.